All right, five more OBS Studio plugins that you can start using today. This time we're gonna be accomplishing some pretty cool effects with those plugins. We'll even be able to combine some of them to create some mind-blowing effects. Of course, every plugin in this video is free and will be linked in the description. I also like to encourage you to support the people creating those plugins, especially when the plugins are free. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Sponsored message and then we can get into it. And this video is sponsored by OwnPro. OwnPro is known to give you overlays, alerts, widgets, everything you need to start your stream but they just came up with something pretty awesome. They just dropped a feature that allows your viewers to trigger sound alerts, but also visual alerts that will show up on your screen, not just in OBS, not just on stream, but on your whole monitor. Basically, you wanna find this extension on Twitch and the installation is pretty easy. You'll need to connect to your own pro account and configure the extension from there. Add a browser source for the sound alerts, then choose if you want sound only or also the visuals. You will need to download and install the software for the visuals. It installed super fast. Now, since it's showing on your screen, if you're not using display capture, you will need to add an additional browser source link so they can see it too. All right, let's add it as a panel. Then pick the effects that you would like to make available to your viewers. You can even preview them. Drag them to extension to add them to the extension. So it'll look like this and drag them to the bottom for channel point rewards and it'll show up here. And if you need any help, check out the quick setup guide. So click the link in the description and set it up for your stream. All right, so the first plugin is one that I was a little skeptical about first, but then I realized there's one specific use that I have for it. The plugin is OBS Text Slideshow version two alpha. This one does not come with a regular installer, so you actually have to read and follow the instructions in order to install it. But to keep it short, you have two zip files that you need to unzip and then place in two specific folders. Then you go to OBS Studio, hi and you will find it as one of your sources. So if I click plus and I wanna add it, for me right now, it is called text GDI plus slideshow. Again, keep in mind, this is version two and it's in alpha. So let's add it and see what it's about. Basically, it is just like the image slideshow, except it's for text. The two main options are read from single file, or read from multiple files. Meaning if you have multiple text files, it will do a slideshow between them. Now you're thinking, okay, how is that useful to me, super gamer and live streamer? <laughs> I was asking myself the same question until I realized that there is text that I would love to display on screen at all times. And those are my bot commands. I want my chat to know exactly what they have access to. So in my case, I want a single file. So read from single file. I can go and browse and find that file. And there you go. From there, it'll be a slideshow between the different lines. Let's set it to one second so that you can really see the effect. Of course, there's a whole lot of options that you can play around with. You can customize this as you wish when it comes to the font, the size, the outline, the shadow, the color, but also the transition. Right now it's fading in and out. Not really cool, not really legible. And we can go to slideshow transition and change that. I really like the swipe or the slide. So swipe, basically it swipes the alpha or slide where it physically moves it into place nice you can also make sure that it is aligned uh, to the right for example if you want to put it to the right there you go and of course you also have access to the slideshow transition speed so if you want that to be very fast for example you can put it at 10 milliseconds it's so fast that we can't even see let's put 100 even that super fast nice let's go back to 700 Oop. Just like that. I'll let you play around with it, but basically I am definitely going to play around with this. And the cool thing now is that if you added a brand new command, just come in here and be like, add it yourself. Of course, I need to save. <laughs> if I don't save, it doesn't work. All right, the second one is from our boy Exeldro, always coming in clutch. And this one is the 3D effect. I actually made a video on the 3D effect one, and you might remember that because it was in the stream effects pack, which is no longer free. So Exeldro saves the day. And of course, this allows you to stretch and rotate your source as if it was from a 3D perspective. I personally like using this to place some sources on top of my camera as if they were part of my background. All right, let's say we want to add it to our camera. We would right click, go to filters, click plus to add a new filter and up top we will see 3D effect. Click OK. And there we have fill the view. We can move this around. We can tilt, rotate on the different axes. And then we can set the position in 3D space. This is actually kind of different from um, the different corner pin that we had before. I look so weird. So this is basically a true 3D position filter. And that is pretty nice. 
All right, let me hit you with a really, really cool one. This is the background removal slash virtual green screen and low light enhance version 1.0.1. And I gotta say, this thing is pretty powerful. Once you install it, you can go to your filters. I'm gonna select my camera, click on filters, click plus, and then find background removal. Click okay, and there it is. Now, of course, my hair is not the, the easiest thing to compute, but considering everything, it's doing a pretty good job. Also, the 60 FPS still looks pretty sharp. It's able to keep up. Now, there's a bunch of options that you can play around with. For example, the threshold. It is definitely not perfect for removing the background completely, but the one thing that I really love using it for is if you scroll down, you will find background blur. And that is dope. That is pretty cool. Directly into OBS, you can blur your background. If you're using a webcam like the Elgato Facecam or the Facecam Pro or any like high quality webcam, I would advise you to slightly blur your background. Of course, this is CPU or GPU intensive. You can see that you can pick it right there. But if you have the gear for it, I think that's pretty nice. Now we're actually gonna keep this on because the next plugin is something that we can combine it with. All right, let's put the blur to zero so we can delete the background. And the next effect, as I mentioned in my previous video about OBS Studio plugins, go watch it, is the recursion effect. Andy Leapy already has a video on it, go check it out. But since we have no background, we can go to filters, click plus, find recursion effect, and then play around with it. It's kind of funny because it actually froze what's, what was happening before. <laughs> this is so cool. This is, I'm, I'm unveiling my apartment. I actually did not expect that. That's so cool. <laughs> and then of course we have all types of settings, for example, the rotation, and we have some offsets. I'm scrolling with my mouse wheel right now. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. You can also click inversed, which means it's gonna be on top of you. So every layer is gonna go on top of each other instead of in the background. <laughs> it is kind of wild all the different types of effect that you can do. Oh, wow. Look at that. Let me turn that off. Let's turn it back on. I believe right here, there is an option for me to basically reset it when I hide it. Oh, there we go. It's the bottom one. So enable when the eye icon in front of this filter is enabled. And basically now you can do all the wild stuff you want. It's cool because like my main camera, as in my face is frozen and I'm still moving. <laughs> That's because it's inversed, of course. There we are. Hi, how are you? Welcome. So as I suspected, if you do not have a green screen and there's no transparency basically on your source, it's not really going to work. If I inverse it, it's just gonna freeze my camera. So you kind of need the background removal in order to really, really make it shine. I love this so much. <laughs> And finally, we have Waveform 1.6.1. And this one is a great solution to display some waveforms without going through external software. I know I made a video where I showed I had a webcam that would react to my voice, but in this case, I used something called Plane 9. So I had to open up an extra software and capture that. It gave me way more options, but if you wanna keep it simple, you're gonna click on the plus after installing it, of course. You're gonna find Waveform Visualizer as a source, click OK, and then you're gonna pick your source. Now you can set it up to your mic, to your gameplay, to your alerts, whatever it is. Let's go to mic auxiliary and you can see it's accurate because uh, this is going to be the baseline and then this is going to be the highs. So if I go, you're going to see the bass and if I go, you're going to see the highs. Of course, you have a ton of options. You can normalize the volume so that it really boosts it so it's more visible. We can change the display mode to bars, bars, step bars, level meter. I think that's pretty cool. That would go really well on like a sci-fi overlay. And then stepped level meter. Old school analog overlay. I like this one. I think that's pretty cool. Then you have all the values to customize it. Testing, testing. Here you can mirror it so it's the same thing but flipped over that way. Testing, testing. Radial layout. I actually didn't know that was a possibility. This is really cool. And then you can invert it. Testing, testing, testing. Oh my, this is great. Let's not mirror it. Test, test, test. Oh, so cool. 
I believe it's Goofy Wise that sent me a DM. I'm sorry if I'm airing out our DMs uh, <laughs> about making a camera overlay using this. I didn't know that was an option. So if you're watching this, there was a solution the whole time. I just didn't know. Here the dead zone is basically how wide you want that circle, that middle circle to be. So cool. As I said, a whole lot of options that you're going to have to go ahead and play around with. But I'm guessing the most interesting for you is probably the render mode. We can put gradient and then we can set a color. Wow, I wonder what color he's gonna choose. Of course, of course. Look how well it matches my apartment. <laughs> And there it is, you have your own waveform based on any source you want, and you can add as many as you want. And that was five OBS plugins that you can download today because they are free. And of course the links will be in the description. Hey, do me a favor, go on my Twitter and uh, follow me. I've been doing a lot of giveaways. Go on my Twitch and follow me. There's some very, very interesting stuff that I'm planning and I wouldn't want you to miss it. I recently announced that I am now an official voice mod partner, meaning that I will be creating content with them. So in the near future, there will be some pretty cool voice mod content. Anyways, take those plugins, go out there, make me proud, get level, out.